Welcome to this video which I'm going to cover how to put references into your lab report when you're using LaTeX. So I'm assuming you're happy with going into sharelatex.com and loading your project up. If you haven't managed to compile and to get your lab report template working then please go and watch the first video before you attempt this one. Um, in LaTeX, you can see that the referencing is done quite neatly for us. We don't have to ourselves put in the reference numbers. We just need to call um, a command when we want to make a citation. So here's our lab report that we worked on and that we compiled. And we can see that down in this discussion section, we've got this reference here. It's calling reference one. So what does that look like in the actual code window? Well, I've scrolled down to the discussion section and what we can see here is it says this sentence goes found online in references such as and then it says slash site and then ref semi uh, reference colon maths. Um, so this squiggly line, you don't need it. You can use it. It doesn't make any difference. It will work as well with or without it. What it does is it just stops that breaking over a line. So you've got the reference number just on its own at the end of a line if that's where it falls. So I'm going to leave that in, but it will work if you don't have it. The important thing is when you call slash site, it means that you're inserting a reference or a citation. That's where this word comes from. Um, where does the bit in the brackets come from? Well, this is the information that we've provided in our bibliography file or our references file, which I'm now going to take you into. So the references file you access in Shelley Tech by going up to the .bib file. Um, so in this document, this is just a database for us of all the different sources that we've come across. And you can enter this information, then you can just cite it when you need it. So if we go on to the math, so this was the bit that was cited originally. Um, this is the name of it. So whenever you go slash cite and then type the name, it looks up whichever in entry has that name in the .bib file. So here is the one for maths. And we've got here the information of the author, we've got a title, we've got a year, and we've got how published. So um, all you would need to do if you wanted to add your own reference is copy this template. So copy all of this, so control C and then control V, and just change the information with the information that you want to put in yourself. There are lots of different entry formats you can use. For most purposes, booklet or MISC is going to work. So here's MISC down here. These entries are all standard templates that we use in LaTeX. And I'm going to show you a page on the uh, Wikibook page which will talk this through. So this is the uh, bibliography management page in Wikibooks about LaTeX. If we go down to standard templates, um, you can copy any of these files. So what you can do is if you just copy um, this template, you can then use it in your own text. So this shows you some of the different forms. So you've got articles, books, booklets, etc. Um, we tend to like MISC because you don't have to have any required fields. Um, you can put in any of these optional fields. So if you've got the information for this, what you do is you copy the line you want and then you just put your information between the quotation marks and then you've created a reference file. Um, you can call your reference anything you want. You can call it Bob if you want to, but I recommend you call it something that means something to you. So when you're referencing, it will make a lot more sense. So one of the things I'm going to show you is I'm going to um, put a new reference into my main text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the name of the reference and then I'm going to go into my main file. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it in here. So I'm going to go, oh, such as a site and uh, it will auto complete. So I want to cite and then I'm going to put in, just paste the name of the file. And then what happens if I recompile, you will see that when it loads, um, that new reference that I've entered has become reference number one and it's updated to make the later one number two without us actually doing anything. And that's one of the things that LaTeX is actually very useful for. And you can see down here in the references section, it's introduced that information that we've put in our reference file just here. Um, so the one other thing I want to show you is, so how does your lab report text know where to look for the bibliography files. Well, if you scroll down a bit more, 
it all happens in this bit here. So what happens is first up we've got a command which is bibliography style and we set this to IEEE TRAN. You don't need to change that, please leave that as it is in your lab report template. What that means is it's going to output it in the IEEE transaction style which is what's expected for electrical engineering. The next line says slash bibliography which means this is where the bibliography is and then you type in the name of your file. So if you haven't renamed it just leave it as myrefs.bib and it will work. Um, so there's lots of different referencing styles you can use. So if I type Harvard here um, I don't know if this will actually work. I've not tried this before. Um, well, it will work. I don't know if that's the connect name for it. If I recompile it, it'll either give me an error or it will work. Do, do, do. Ah, no, it didn't work. That was me trying to be clever. Uh, yeah, undefined references. That's me. Okay, don't try and be clever. I'll put it back. There we go. But what you can do is um, you can put in whatever reference style you need. So you look up on the internet what the actual command is and then you can change the referencing style and it will change everything throughout the document for you and you won't have to do that. So this is how you reference. The final thing I'm going to show you is how to put in a image. So I've got this uh, this image which is called opamp.jpg which is in the project directory. If I want to include this I just delete this bit of comment statements because I want to include it now but this is how you can include a figure and if you want to include your own figure copy this bit paste it and put in your file name there what happens now if I recompile you will see that the image will now appear there we go there's a lovely picture of an op amp there op amp circuit that we've included um, you can see as well in the caption we've got a citation and that has now become number one because it's earlier in the text and the other ones will then be two and three other thing you can do in latex if you click there you can see it actually will just take you straight to the reference in the references list so that is how to make your referencing work in your year one lab report um, i hope this has been useful